just have that come it's put your foot next to it for scale rod just have that jamming the ash over in the boiler anyway it's out now but it's snapped the bracket bolts at the other end so that's a job to do in a bit when we get back from looking at john bounds's tractors because andrew wants to look at one of his tractors now the auger has got a bend in it which is a bit annoying snap the bracket put a block of wood in so we can turn it but we have to pull it out and try it and straighten it Car little baby JCB, it's like that one you used to have, Andrew. It's got that in it, little bendy one with the GoPro in the window for some random reason. It's Diddy, that in it, it's on cone and pin as well. But John Bowers has got loads of JCBs in, it's got a meaty shovel there, and Pump trailer like ours, but in grey, or like exactly the same as Bill and Joe's. Looks a beast. They do clean, but once they get dirty. It's a monster, that, isn't it? So another one. Loads of them in, haven't they? Load over there. There's like a little mini one as well. quiz question why does that back end on that fast track look totally different to the back end on ours even the hitch looks different they look different looks huge was it just the tires maybe it's just it's jacked up on the suspension uh, John Deere there bad just fell off the bonnet six something or other six two one five the toolbox rusted bad that in it a maroon vault was in more JCBs. Looks good with that chrome exhaust. Step away from the JCB, Andrew. You had one of them ones. That's got like a like a blanket. Keep it warm. Emergency blanket on it. Oh, 20k and a 30k. Oh yeah, it's got a different back end. Different air cleaner and everything. Bigger engine though, isn't it? Yeah. The future classic. Yeah. 8450. We had a 6400, similar vintage. Didn't have this bit because it was only a four cylinder. It's tidy inside, Very isn't it? Very mint, isn't it? It's nice. Balls and battles on one gear stick, one, two, three on the other. Just bringing back memories. Yeah. It's well tied, isn't it? How much this is, old? Get it for the collection. Well, you two have to pick up a bit first. It's nice that though, isn't it? You see though how they've like changed. <laughs> how wide the wheels are on that set out. To beat that. Used to fly the two-wheel drive one. Tidy as well. He's got two in another five eight five. Wonder what they've been. They must have been on like a, a veg farm to be. Not have the waxels out that wide. It's absolutely mint inside. Service kits in it and everything. It's proper straight that. It's mint in it. I think they must be sold. We're on the five eight five. 750 hours it's done there's all its service history up there it's immaculate everything's in here it's even got its original rear window because it's got the stickers on it it just needs a good polish it's never been outside next british sugar so i think it's been used for trial plots of gin here it's just like totally genuine Two sister tractors, consecutive serial numbers and consecutive red plates. Someone will know the history of them, but we believe they've never been outside. Had a night out and they, did, they used to work for British Sugar. That's the logo in the top. 
là Oh, you say he's come back from Ireland. The winch on it as well. It's come back from Ireland, you say? It's proper that, isn't it? That's the Ford 519 ENT. The road was made 200 this model. Yeah. It's tidy, isn't it? That's been in the barn most of its life as well, hasn't it? So it's a Ford Ferguson petrol TVO on just it. Yeah. Come back from Ireland and it's dead straight and genuine. No rust. But it's had a repair done there, has it? Maybe. Yeah, but they've done a good job of it because you can't even see it from that side, really. Oh, yeah, and there as well. Dead straight. Look at that for a conversion, they didn't even put the lights up there. The professionals are in it, they are some really nice stuff. Yeah, Proper crane, isn't it? That's who's obviously put the crane on it. All the guarding and all the rams have matched the colour of the tractor. It's mint. Say, mate, your edge, 89, is it? 88, 88 Renault. F-Reg. F-Reg. It's tidy, isn't it? Big turbo on it for, this, for its day. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, an MWM engine, that. They'll do thousands of thousands of hours of engines. It's really good. Some weight in that, isn't there? And then that, so that, that's the same era really as this one with the better axle then? Uh, slightly different. 50 degree uh, steering axle. That's about 1982, 83, which is about 81. It's not that big, it's not that different. No. Are they the Duncan cabs, are they? Lambon. Oh, Lambon. They've also got 10 series noses on them, so that, you know, the, the class of 10 series, is, they call it an S series in a row. Oh yeah, so that this is the last one that the book said that they built. Yeah. But yeah. the serial number of that one, it's the last number. is the last number that you think they've ever made. Seven nine one five. That is that number. That is the highest robust number issued. That one. Uh, but that must have already been sold when the receivers took over, and that went to Robert Hudson's, which obviously went to do it. Yeah. Um, I've been looking for it ever since. So they, they were. If it had been on steel wheels, it would have been out of date, not, not been used, not parted up. Really, yeah. But if it took you 40 years to buy them, how old actually are they? 80 years old? Yeah. They're about, uh, they'd be about 1942, really, yeah. So what's 40s? Well, 80 years old, isn't it? Good guess, wasn't it? <laughs> that was a good guess, wasn't it? Did they run? We're not attempted to run them yet. Sorry, John, what did you say? That This has got a hydrostatic gearbox made by Lucas, which it says on the side, but that the box was made in Liverpool, was it? Yeah. So it's rare. And Rodless assembled them for, um, for, for, uh, for, for, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. So they were just getting skid units off Ford and then putting them boxes in the middle? Yeah. No way. That for a special colour. Chester update for ages. Here he is. 
bouncing around. I missed it, but he was had a good mooch of what was in that bucket. Quick James update. He's snoozing during the daytime because he spends most of the night time awake. Winchester's keeping an eye on him. This auger is bent and we don't want to be messing around with it this afternoon. So we just jammed it with blocks of wood so it can still run bent, keeping the motor in the vehicle in the right place. Then Monday we'll have to slide it out and straighten it. Huge birthday bumper today. We're over £3,200, so thank you everyone that's donated. There is everyone's name on there. Too many to read out. But happy birthday. And if your birthday's on there, if, it's not, if you're not on there and it's your birthday, also happy birthday. Don't forget, check that out. Can't believe how high it's got on eBay. Anyway, also, people have always seemed to ask me how to get on the birthday bumper. There's a link below. There's that uh, QR code on the corner of the bumper. But do it on the morning of the birthday. It's no use doing it a week before because I go through the list every afternoon, write them on, that's it. If you've put it on, then it'll be on that day, even if the birthday might not be till the 7th of June or whatever. So yeah, just a little reminder of that. Anyway, that is probably all for today. Thank you all for watching. I will see you tomorrow and I'm going to be at Tractor Fest in, is it Rippenden or Rippen? I can't remember. Someone corrected me the other day, but I'll be up there anyway tomorrow. So might see some of you there if I do. Say hello.